There's trouble brewing. There's a mystery that needs solving. All around the community, there's been tales and stories of a man kicking people off the beach. It doesn't matter if you're hot ladies. It doesn't matter if you're a family with a baby. If you're on the wrong beach, you're f done, son. You're getting kicked out. I know what you're thinking. Who would ever be a giant enough dick to kick someone off a beach? Oh, okay, just point the camera at me, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we did do that. We did kick a lot of people off of the beach, but that's because we were trying to prove a point, and we believe that the beaches belong to everyone. And also, pranking the entire state of Florida was fun. <laughs> Some of the most fun that I've ever had was pranking a, an entire state. So when the new law came out, we figured let's kick everyone off the beach, let's drum up publicity for this bad law, send pictures and videos to the news under the alias of Mike Honcho, then pray that they wouldn't Google that name before airing the news segment across all the beaches everywhere. <laughs> Our yard take floats, take chairs. Oh, it's just a disbelief that somebody could. I got an offer to do Playgirl magazine. You probably didn't hear about it because I went under the name of Mike Concho. Fence off a public beach. <laughs> Resident Mike Concho spotted the fence during his morning walk. People hated them for this because they believed that they genuinely wanted to close the beach. Every news station in Florida was coming to their house asking about the closing off of the beach. But the Juke Squad had a plan, like they always do. They sent in Jack's dad to complain about the fence that they put up as an angry beachgoer who hated the fence. The fence that he helped put up at his house. The boys ended up getting a statement from the governor of Florida who stated that it was up to the city whether they wanted to allow people to be kicked off the beach or not. The city decided it's everyone's beach and now because of the Juke Squad, nobody can be kicked off the beach ever again. Truly beautiful. If you want to check out that video, it's in the description. Unfortunately, the town neighboring our town does not have the same views when it comes to allowing people on the beach. As soon as you come up to the threshold between my hometown and Karensville, you are met with this. Boom. Restrictions after restrictions. An officer informed us that if you do not live here, you cannot place an umbrella here. Get skin cancer, nerds. No shade for you. This seems ridiculous. Surely the rumors cannot be true. There's no way that the good people of the world and the people of this island that I grew up on would ever kick me off of a beach that I spent my whole life at, right? This needs to be executed cautiously. Jack and his friends have a bias in their hometown. Everyone loves them for obvious reasons, such as good looks, good deeds, and being beautiful, handsome geniuses. So to provide a fair assessment of the situation, we must go undercover. It has to be a genuine encounter. We might as well up the stakes a little bit and buy some liquid deaths and 0.0% alcoholic beverage then just sit and wait. Filming something like this for the boys was easy. If you see a Karen, use the code word. Crikey. If crikey is said, someone is getting kicked off the beach. No more than 30 seconds after they sit down, before they can even open a delicious 0.0% alcoholic beer, crikey is spoken. The camera is turned on. actually How's private property on this side you're allowed to be no alcohol out on this beach at all and uh -huh. the cops are in route to come remove the guy with the umbrella so so straight off the bat we're off to a rocky start i'm not sure what he was looking for when he told us that he kicked that elderly couple off the beach thank god you called the cops i was about to call the cops too criminals criminals yeah calling the cops and someone for not wanting to get skin cancer it's a rough start Oh dang. I'd put the alcohol up, but... What are you removing him for? You said what? What are you removing that guy for? It's a violation of the beach. No alcohol, no tents, no umbrellas. Except... Wait, so we're not allowed to be here? Not allowed to be here. You, what? what? If you didn't have the alcohol, you could be down beneath But you the, uh... live there. We're over here. Yeah, so I have the property rights signed for all these, turning with the sheriff's department, and that one, and that one, and that one, the first five. But either way, the beach ordinances apply, regardless of where I live. Nice. So you just you come kick people off the beach? Yeah. Well, you're drinking on the beach, which is against the law. Okay. I should probably pound it then. 
You, you move it or should I have the cops come down here and deal with this too? Oh. Ha, huh. intimidation won't work on the juke squad because we purposely didn't sit on his property and sat right next door at a house that we were 99% sure he didn't own the rights to kick people off of. So despite all of his threats, we stood our ground. Conversation, why are you kicking people off the beach? Because you're breaking the rules. Oh, you're Damn, like, man. That's yeah, yeah, so I'm on the city council. Quick. I've got kids. I don't want alcohol over here. You know, it's that crazy thing. Hearing he's a city council member was concerning. So after almost no research at all, we found his Instagram, where he does stuff like this, which we're pretty sure is breaking the law. Bruh, off to dinner. <laughs> because you're breaking the rules? Because you're breaking the rules? Crazy, I've never seen you here before. Well, you see me now. Yeah, I guess hey, so. take a picture of me, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it, appreciate it, fellas. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Oh, the condescending I appreciate you while taking pictures of us as evidence of hooliganism. I've got I've got a six-year-old, a ten-year-old, twelve-year-old, you know, I like to show them that, that they don't break the rules, you know? The Greenville County Sheriff's Office continues to fight the battle over illegal gambling machines. Today, Sheriff Steve Loftus talked about the new generation of machines. News Force Keisha Foster joins us live and local from the Greenville County Law Enforcement Center with more. And Keisha, how many machines were seized? Well, Nigel, last week, deputies and sled agents seized more than 100 machines from three different locations, machines that they say paid cash payouts to players. And after barely any more research at all, we found out that the man in question has been arrested multiple times for illegal gambling and gaming organizations. You're breaking the rules. Oh, the irony here is almost too good to be true. Not only come to realize is he the furthest thing from a law-abiding citizen, are you kidding me? Like genuinely serious, who the f does this? Filming yourself littering across an entire town? What type of person would film and upload this? Oh yeah, probably the same dude that would kick someone off a beach that he's lived at his entire life. We're all, you know, I like to show them that, that, born like that they don't break the away. rules, you know? Have you watched well, these are uh, 0 0.0s and he's drinking of water, so... Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I have some liquid deaths. It seems like you're kind of dead inside for kicking us off the beach if you'd like it. one. Yeah. Well, well, you can move. You, you can move. You seem dead inside. I seem like I'm somebody that's tired of dealing with people that don't follow the rules. <laughs> You're just that guy kicking people off the beach, huh? I guess so. I'm not actually I'm not kicking you off the beach. I'm asking you to move off my property. Well why? What do you want And do also here? not to be drinking alcohol on the beach. What do you want And you own all five of these houses? You said what? You own five houses in a row? No no no. I own this house. I have the rights to trespass turned in with the sheriff's department of all these houses. Why do you want to trust people off the beach? Right, because there's a, a thing, but it's fine. What is your... You know, cops actually have stuff to do, right? Like important stuff. It's... And we got some guys that are openly drinking alcohol and... That's not true. Uh, Told you it's not true. by the time he gets here. Being disgruntled. He said he's going to finish by the time he gets here. Our Either cans way. are in a brown bag. That makes it a little better. I, I've, got a, I've got a picture of them, not in a bag. Well, mine's in a bag. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's... I'll put a bunch of yeah, sand on, on the it. Beach. They're also, um, they need to have them trespass as well. They're on private property. It's pretty hot. Are you sure you don't want my water? I'm good. I appreciate it though. All right. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's really not cool to kick people off the beach, female, right? Female. Yeah, it's oh, super late. Four male, one female. But I feel like the kids aren't even out here doing anything. So what do you want to do with this space when we're not here? Yes. Uh, Real quick. I know. Might throw up. Not concerned for mental health. I, they just don't like the rules. Uh, but they are drinking. But they don't like the rules, and they're wanting to debate. We're not even in front of your house, though. We're definitely mental. I'll be we finished. Send it. Uh, like it's one just weird. Family. People move here like a year ago and think that they not sure, though. own the place. It's not really a good way to get along with the community. Well, I actually man. physically do own where you're sitting, but oh, do you? But like, I've got, I've got the survey if you want to look at it. I thought you only owned that one. I want to see a survey. You said you had rights to trespass, oh. but you don't own where I'm sitting right now. Well, what do you want to do here with us? Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Should we go by um, past the umbrella guy? Okay, thank you. We got a cruise and went for the sunset, too. I'm showing you. This is Indian Rocks right here. Yeah. And you see how it jumps forward. Those are the two signs right there, the big signs. Mm -hmm. This may be hard to believe, but Jack and his friends are pretty well versed when it comes to laws about the beaches and the mean high water line and private and public beaches. They had to know what they were talking about the last time they kicked everyone off the beach themselves to prove that this was a terrible law. So they know their stuff, and all these things that he said about they're on his property and that he can trespass all of them from five houses in a row was complete bullshit. 
He essentially approached us in public and tried to use his tactics of threatening us to try to scare us into thinking that we would get in trouble. It's no stretch of the imagination that he uses these same intimidation tactics on all the people that come to the beach in front of his house. And the line is up here, right? I guess I understand it's... why we can't watch the sunset here. You can, you just gotta move up and, oh, no, well, and no alcohol. Well, why and don't no you want alcohol. us here? What do you want to do with the no, space? He's just power well, I'd like you to follow the rules. The ordinances, right? I know. It's, I know it's like yeah. You don't have to thing. enforce them though. Like you're choosing to kick people off. The I, beach, I right? like the rules. I have little kids. I like the fact that not having alcohol on the beach. I think that's that's nice. Yeah, I respect that too. Who has alcohol you know, then? You know, like I, I like the rules. I'm, I don't drive. Right, there's rules for a reason, right? Yeah, there are. And I'm trying to be a father and, and set a good example for my children. By That's the reason. Moana is well, a I good mean, example. If you weren't sitting right here where my children are about to walk out and sit down, right? Why can't we hang and out with the just, kids, dude? Yeah. But I'm getting ready to bring my kids out. You just it, said, it you're asking good. why. You're, you're asking, asking to the beach, right? You know that you like moved it's to good the beach. I moved to a beach go. that does not allow alcohol on the beach. Yeah. So you basically just don't want us to hang out with your kids. That's the reason you want to kick us off so they can walk here and not socially interact with other people. I don't want them around. One, you're trespassing. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? So, who are you? Who are you? Daniel. 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 Where do you live? Which one? And then, <laughs> so basically. I'll talk to you guys in a sec, okay? Just uh, ask them to move. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, the, they've had alcohol. I told them there's no alcohol, dude. No secrets. How many times have we told them we don't have alcohol? Uh, like 15. <laughs> I think about offering them water. <laughs> the dead inside. I was waiting for that one. At this point in the interaction, he's showing the cop a map of the property lines, which we had previously checked before coming out here and intentionally walked past and sat down on the next property over. Hi, gentlemen. Oh, oh. How you doing, sir? Stop the beer, okay? It's water. You can check. It's all water. We told him like six times that it was we had no alcohol on us, but he just didn't seem to care. You got any beer? Like None. Beer Check our cooler. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not a single drop. I got no issues with water. Right? Yep. Okay. So let's, let's look after everything. All right. So you are technically on his property, okay? Okay. I, I just thought he owned that house and not this one. He told so us he didn't own this house, so I was just like, hey. If you don't so, own the house, you can't really tell us to leave. So here, here's the thing. Uh -huh. The property lines for each of these houses is the same. Uh -huh. So basically, right in the middle right here yeah. is their property. Yeah. So they can in enforce it as they feel fit. Yeah. You're kind of on the line of this property right here. No, it's, I know no, it's over there. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm not going to get into semantics. No, okay. property lines, okay? You guys were over there, right? No, Four? nope, never. never. Where'd you guys enter in? We had, I mean, we came from 28th Avenue and walked okay. down to here. All right, so, property lines, okay. Right. So technically, you're on this guy's property right here. Okay? Yes, sir. So, he didn't ask us to leave, though. He did. I get that, but yeah. you understand what I'm saying. Well, I mean, if he's going to draw those lines, well, can't we be on the outside of the line that he told us that he owns? Well, yeah, but you also... You want to get trespassed with this guy's property? Why would he trespass us? I didn't even said a word to him. But here's the thing. Yeah. I got to enforce the English either way. Correct. So right now, I'm watching, physically watching you trespass us on this property. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. You understand? Okay. Work with me, right? Yeah. All right? So. So you guys are supposed to enforce people above the mean high water line on Bel Air? So the mean high tide water yeah. is from that line yeah. to the house. Yeah. It's their property. Okay? I understand. And everything else is public property private property, mm -hmm. anyone can go, okay? There are some homeowners that don't care if, if you're up here or not, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to get into that argument with you guys about semantics. That's you know, you're trespassing on this one, you're trespassing on that one. Slide the bags off the can so I can just double check. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. He never even told us why you he didn't smell it if you want. Anyway. We might so, have an extra one if you want when you look at this. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Right. So here's the thing. It's his property. He's got kids out here. Yeah. He can do whatever he wants with his property. Yeah. Same thing with your property. Yep. You can do with whatever you want on your property, we're right? Property. We're over here. These guys are cool. They don't Let's care if we're on there. And, and they're on his property. Just hear me out, okay? Yeah. I'm not trying to throw things saying that you're on his property or not. I'm just saying, stay away from his yeah. property. Cool. We'll move up. We'll move up. So let me ask you this, guys. It's a waste of time. Right. Did you guys have a tent up out here? No. 
Alright, so just a chair, right? Yeah. I have a question. What did he say we did? He said he called the cops on those guys. Aren't they technically good? They're, yeah. they're good. So they got called for something totally different. Umbrella. They can't have shades around umbrellas. <laughs> they're trying to trust, give people cancer and not let them have shades down on the <laughs> <laughs> that, That's all. So, property owners on the Bel Air shore can have tents behind their house. Okay. Visitors can have. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that is a city ordinance that's signed by the city council, approved by the city mayor. Alright? If I see it, I have to approve it, right? Yeah, Same thing if I see you guys drinking beer on the, on the beach. It's a city ordinance, you can't drink alcohol. We told him before he made the phone call to you guys that it wasn't beer and that it was water, and we tried to show him, but he'll call and said you're drinking alcohol. For some reason. It, 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 Instead of pulling argue about something, <laughs> we're not going to get into that, okay? Just, I'm going to look, make sure there's no beer or alcohol in there. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the cooler. Good. Yeah, no you're good. You're fine. Take a refresh one if yeah, you need I'm one. I'm good, guys. Only while getting kicked off the beach by a guy who just moved here. Yeah, by some goober. Good news is we didn't have to leave. Why? Because we never had to. Because we weren't sitting on the property that he had rights to trespass us off of when he approached us in the first place. This is a real problem because if Bel Air can do this, everywhere can do this. And pretty soon, there can be no beaches left that aren't private on the state of, in the state of Florida. Lucky for us, it only took about five seconds for us to get the scoop on Mr. Business. Um, unfortunately, it took me about six hours to find all the proper statutes of Florida and laws regarding the mean high water line and public and or private beaches. What I've always known to be true is that the high tide line is and always will be public land. And since the last storm, the tide has moved significantly. But how is the mean high water line determined? This is a question it took so long to find the answer to. What did not take me long to find on the internet, however, was that Bel Air has been in a fight with itself for years. A new ordinance was formed stating Bel Air Shore's residents are the only people allowed to use shade and umbrellas. Meaning if you own a house one block away from the beach, you get, get absolutely skin cancered, nerd. Now to an ongoing court battle between Bel Air Shore and a Bel Air Beach resident. This, this evening, the neighboring towns are at odds over a local ordinance banning temporary shade structures. Tantama Bay's Malik Rankin explains the impact this could have on the entire Sunshine State. They also tried to claim that umbrellas pose a danger. It's a windy day today. They can become unmoored. There are uh, cases where people have been struck and killed by umbrellas. Bel Air Shore has to prove a rational basis that the restrictions are constitutional. Both parties made their arguments to the judge and his verdict is expected next week. What's decided in this case could set a precedent for restrictions allowed on all Florida beaches. Well, in five years, there were two deaths recorded by umbrellas and over 2,000 people die every single year due to skin cancer. Skin cancer is unfathomably more dangerous than umbrellas, so their excuse is stupid. It's very dumb. With that being said, after much, much, much research, because Bel Air makes it really, really hard to find their statutes online, technically you are allowed to have an umbrella that's up to 7.5 feet. Now that the cops you said, told you said we in for the hug. All right, but you got to answer. Why don't you want us to check? check? What are you going to do with this? Yeah, that's not, I'm not. I'll answer. The whole thing was, is I had an incident earlier with my children out here that involved the police. And it wasn't people being cool like you guys. And so I'm just trying to clear out the area before I bring my kids back out here. That's the reason. But you gotta, in my mind, right, he's got alcohol. You guys are sitting up here. You don't agree with the rules. Right. Like, I do appreciate you guys being cool. Yeah, maybe, but maybe that changes things. I, my my opinion doesn't change, and y'all's doesn't either. But I do appreciate you being cool. Um, I, I I've lived learned. I've lived on this beach a long time. I never called the cops and kicked anybody off. He's lived on this beach Actually, a long I time. I wasn't Excuse trying me. to kick you off. We've never called the cops and we've never kicked anybody off. Our point is that yeah. the sand, the beach, should be for everybody. Correct. You should be able to come out here and skimboard and surf 
and fish and for you I think you to should call be a men with board. guns, I think you should do all you're things. wrong. I think you should do all you those shouldn't things. be doing that. I think you should do all so those things. So we weren't in front of your property. Do any of those things. I think you, you had no right to call the police. Uh, Please don't treat anyone else like you did us. I didn't ask us. you not to do any of those things, just to be clear. Uh, uh, I told you you were wrong. He's the one that's nice. All right, all right. I appreciate you guys. I'm not giving you a hug. That's fine. You don't have to. I like hugs. I would do it exactly the same way, except maybe, maybe, Ask a little nicer for you just to move with the alcohol and explain that I don't want it around my kids. Yeah, yeah but you would have kicked us out even if we didn't have alcohol. And even Actually, if we... I, I wouldn't have. After this whole interaction, we got a message from these people that we met afterwards who frequent the area who let us know that the man in question called the cops on a family for having an umbrella over an infant child. I, I honestly, I cannot make this up. And I did not, I didn't even believe it at first. So removing the baby was not only cruel, it was unusual. Who the f calls the cops on an umbrella for a baby? Who the f does that? The real problem with the incident with the baby is the fact that according to the footage that we have acquired, they were all well below the high tide line. The rights for public space has been a topic mostly amongst fishermen for years. All of us that live here know, if you're below the high tide line, none of the city ordinances apply, because you're no longer within the city limits, you are on public property. To put it simply, we do believe these people were wrongfully removed from the beach, and we believe that this was a clear violation of their constitutional rights. Now, none of us were there that day, so we didn't get the full story. But what we can assume is that most people probably don't know their rights and the mean high water line statutes as well as Japanese friends do. This cop gave them 15 reasons to leave, all of which were dog This is one of the richest communities in the entire country. And they're trying to lock down the beaches, make all the beaches private so that there's no beaches left. So many restrictions. Look at all these restrictions. And I have had it. I've had it up to here. Sorry. We did not budge. And eventually the cops left us alone. Not before uh, he did this. Okay. I asked them to move down the same way I asked you guys to move down. But they were up there and we were walking out with everything. And they were actually blocking the exit to my... Uh, so we couldn't get out. You should move world. into the middle of the woods. Get uh, like we, 50 people acres. People should just be respectful of other people's property. Oh uh, yeah, you moved here a year ago. I think you know nothing about beach etiquette and respect if you're asking me. First time I've ever been kicked off the beach in my life. I didn't kick you off the beach. You I told, did. I told you. I, I said there's, there's no way that guy will kick us off the beach. As long as you're not interfering with my We didn't interfere beach, with I'm you. Good. You came out and interfered with our day. Yeah, you're And then you get with... to say that I'll, I'm the bad guy? Yeah, I'm not on your property. It is. It is. You gotta show I appreciate their energy. Love Yours it reminds me of me. You. you called men with guns. You get no excuse. Just so you know, I have a gun too. You I get got, no excuse. Are you carrying right now? I always got a gun, dude. You always got a gun. He felt the need to tell us that he was carrying a concealed weapon and you know I have my concealed weapons license not that it matters in Florida anymore but I know that you're not allowed to tell someone that you're carrying a gun if you do that's brandishing a firearm that's brandishing a firearm here is the def here's the statute for definition for brandishing a firearm in the state of Florida oh it sounds like that's exactly what he did huh. <laughs> the guy brandished a firearm yesterday I think that's illegal Jack's logic here was pretty simple. If you're gonna call the cops on him for not being on his property, then we're gonna go let the cops know that you've brandished a firearm. Do that. Up, up past his house, off of his property, to the second property. We were below the high tide line, and he told us that he had a gun in his pulled which I do believe, according to the Florida State statute, that is brandishing a firearm. Correct. And this happened yesterday, you're saying? Yes, so we have it on video. You have it on video? Yes, sir. Okay. Would you like to see it? Yes. Now, all this has been a lot to take in, and we still have a lot to talk about. And I'm sure everyone's wondering, what are Jack and his friends going to do about this? To find out, you're going to have to wait for part two. Because we're nearly a month into making this video. I can promise, you will never guess what's coming next. But I w you should guess in the comments, what do you think is going to, how do you think this is going to play out?
you guys enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the join button. We need your guys' support to continue making YouTube videos because YouTube really isn't paying us anymore. We're going to try to provide you guys with some really helpful tricks and tips on everything social media and we'll be answering all of your questions via comments of members that join the channel. So please support the dream, click the like button, click subscribe, consider joining, and if you want to go to jukesquad.com and check out the fire new merch, including the shirt that I was wearing during this video, we really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, keep us doing what we do, and we'll see you soon for part two. You won't want to miss it.